This is the new Framework Laptop 13 with AMD Ryzen AI 300 series processors. And it looks the same as the last Framework Laptop 13. And actually, that's the point. We're now seven iterations in on this industrial design and this form factor, and we keep making it better each time. Every time we release a new generation, we make sure to keep cross-compatibility across that entire range of history, all the way back to the original Framework Laptop 13 from 2021. Obviously, even though it looks the same, there's a bunch that's new inside. So new processor, new Wi-Fi, new colors of expansion cards and bezels, new keyboard, new fingerprint reader. And we're actually gonna go through each of those individually. But just as a reminder, this is on top of everything that we've done in the last generation and earlier ones as well. So 61 watt hour battery, optional 2.8K, 120 Hertz display, updated hinges, updated mechanical structure and more, but again, still keeping cross compatibility across the entire line of Framework Laptop 13s. Okay, let's dig into the processor first. So we've got AMD's new Ryzen AI 300 series processors. Like before, we've got a six core Ryzen 5 and an eight core Ryzen 7. This time, actually, for the first time, we also have a Ryzen 9 option in a 13.5 inch form factor, which is just crazy powerful. This generation supports up to 96 gigs of DDR5 5600. And of course it's got a PCI 4 M.2 2280 storage slot. So you can put in an eight terabyte SSD in there if you want to. Obviously you can bring your own memory and storage just like any framework laptop DIY edition. We were able to bring in Wi-Fi 7 this generation using AMD's RZ717 Wi-Fi card. And like always, the Wi-Fi card is an M.2 card that you can actually swap out and replace in the future if you ever want to. We revamped the thermal system on this generation of Framework Laptop 13 as well. So you can see we've moved to a single larger heat pipe. We've also actually moved from regular thermal paste to Honeywell phase change thermal interface material. That's actually something that we're now doing across the entire framework product lineup. We found the thermal performance and especially the long-term stability to be really excellent with that material. So now we're bringing it to all of our products. One other part of the new Ryzen AI 300 series processors is that it does have an NPU built in. It has up to 50 tops of NPU performance. That means that it is actually compliant with Microsoft's Copilot Plus requirements, which makes this a Copilot Plus AI PC, which I don't know if you care about or not, but one of the ramifications of that is that we did actually need to update the keyboard. So the keyboard artwork on the pre-built framework laptop 13 now actually does have a Copilot key on it. But don't worry, if you are a Linux user or you're buying the DIY edition Framework Laptop 13, you are not forced to have a Copilot key. So we now actually have two different sets of keyboard artwork. So for pre-built, we've got a Windows layout with a Windows key and a Copilot key. And for the DIY edition, actually for every language of DIY edition, we now have new artwork that actually doesn't have the Windows key on it at all. We shifted around some of the iconography, so we actually did move the framework logo onto the would otherwise be a win key. We actually used to have that logo on the F12, so we just switched that to being the sole gear icon. But in the end, it ends up being pretty unassuming and pretty simple, so I don't think anyone's gonna be distracted by this keyboard layout. We did actually do one other cool thing with this layout. So in addition to the artwork change, actually more importantly, we updated the keyboard structure. So again, these middle keys, the normal letter keys, are the same structure as on our original keyboard, but as we look at these wider keys, the shift key, for example, rather than having a metal linkage structure, there's actually this multi-piece plastic linkage structure that results in it not vibrating in the way that a metal linkage would vibrate at a resonant frequency. While we were updating the keyboard and the overall input cover to that new second generation version, we actually also took the opportunity to update the fingerprint reader. 
So electrically and software-wise, it is actually the same. So it's Linux compatible just like it is today. We've just updated the industrial design to be a bit more consistent with the design that we have on Framework Laptop 16 and actually improve some of the light uniformity in the light ring that's part of the button. This generation, we've also included some new colors. So we've actually designed translucent expansion cards for USB-C in actually six different translucent colors in addition to a bunch of different opaque colors that we've had already. And we're actually bringing back the translucent bezel as well. So in addition to regular clear translucent, we also have a few colors of translucent bezel that match these new expansion cards too. And the, the combination just looks super cool. Our firmware team has made the setup process for DIY Edition even easier too. So now when you go into different BIOS screens, there are actually QR codes that can guide you to the various setup guides that we have to be able to get your OS running, or if you don't have an SSD in there, showing you how to install your SSD. So this product is shipping soon, and we can't wait to hear your feedback on it.